Hi, I'm Matt Ward. I am the Senior Vice President of Partnerships and Strategy for Mind Music Labs. We're here at NAMM 2019, where we are showing the Elk Music Operating System. This is an operating system which allows you to run plugins, VST, AX, AAU, and rack extension on a general purpose processor like an ARM or a uh, x86 Intel style processor which greatly reduces the cost for hardware manufacturers, which is one kind of partner we have, and opens up a new world of customers for uh, software partners, which is the other kind of partner we have. Here at the booth, we're showing, uh, with in conjunction with our partner, uh, Propellerhead, and their rack extension format, we have a, a, a rack extension synthesizer running on uh, prototype hardware this has a, that has a, a general purpose processor in it, not a, not a DSP, a dedicated DSP, but a general purpose processor. Uh, and this particular product can now, we can control either by MIDI, as it's a digital project product, we can also control by a control voltages. So if I have a, a synthesizer patch like this, now this again, is a, this is a rack extension plugin that's running on this hardware in very low latency. And I'm actually controlling, via the control voltage, the filter. Or you can uh, control via the front panel of another. This is an analog Eurorack synth module that then is controlling the digital. So you've got a, 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 you can build a hybrid into a synthesizer rack of analog and digital um, uh, products. So here you've got... I'm controlling now, what you're hearing is the audio of the plug-in, but, the, but that uh, plug-in is being modulated by the analog output from the analog module. So pretty slick. And the, the, that's just one plug-in that's running on this. There's a whole host, there are 500 rack extension plug-ins that are, are, are available and will run on the, on, the, uh, on the Elk hardware. So that's just one instrument. So it really opens up a whole new world of being able to run plug-ins on hardware. So what do you envision uh, companies doing with it, aside from kind of hardware, um, like modular hardware and stuff like that? Do you, do you see this kind of platform being open-ended? So this, what we see here, is like an open-ended hardware platform for any kind of rack extension to be run on. Actually, the, the, um, I think the advantage for a, a hardware manufacturer is they can now develop a hardware product that has this very, very powerful audio engine and then they can leverage this, the huge library of existing plugins out there to create specific kinds of products. They want to create a synthesizer. They can pick some great synthesizer uh, uh, rack extensions that would run, and the customer then can download other uh, uh, synthesizers and, and expand and, and connect their, uh, their product, share their content with other users, do all of those wonderful things you can do in the plugin universe with a dedicated synthesizer that works like, like an appliance. Same thing true for uh, guitar uh, products like the DV Mark product, which is now uh, show, being shown here at the show and is uh, uh, going to deliver in a month or two. That's running a, a, a VST plugin suite and can be upgraded by the Mind Music Lab Store with other uh, processors and cabinet simulations and things like that. So it really combines the best of, of the plug-in world, that huge selection that's out there of all of this software development that's been done by all these brilliant vendors with this embedded, I don't have to have my computer, you know, guitar amp or synthesizer or product like that. We're enabling hardware developers to take all that software products and create really compelling hardware products. And we're also enabling software uh, uh, developers to be able to get their products into those dedicated products and expand their customer base and who they can sell to. And of course, really helps to bring to market exciting products that, that customers really want to get their hands on.